drop off some of that garbage that we just got. Literally garbage full of just a bunch of cobwebs and marble. I don't even know why I have marble. I don't know. But we have some iron, some cobblestone. Actually, you know what? We do have that smeltery I want to make. Uh, there's the sear bricks, and we do have some, yeah, there's some sear bricks there. Now, where should we put the smeltery? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Let's look at the mini map here. Uh, that's not really help. I guess maybe, if anything, we could put it over here. Maybe. Uh, yeah, it's like nice and flat over here. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll put it here. Let's get the excavator out. Let's get rid of that. Uh, let's get rid of this as well. Let's make like a nine. Ah, uh, not, not like a nine. Maybe like a... Uh, I don't know. Let, let's, let's get rid of another one there. Another one there. Another one there. And another one there. Now, what does this look like? Yeah, that's pretty big. Uh, yeah, let's just get rid of this. And let's put it down here in the floor. I don't know if this is big enough. Two, three, four. There's going to be a four by four. That's what a four by four looks like here. Or actually, this is like four by five. So let's make this five by five on the inside. There we go. Then on the outside, can be like this. There you go. Save a little bit of sear bricks uh, in the process. We can probably get right. Uh, yeah, I think we can get rid of the corners here as well. There you go. And we'll need to replace them with like drains and stuff whenever we actually want to use the smeltery. But for right now, this is definitely going to get the job done. So there we go. That's one layer. Let's actually get this other thing right there. We might be able to make it another layer higher, maybe, once we actually make those drains, you know? So let's see. Let's see how many more will we need. And we do have some uh, bricks in our inventory as well. Do we have like a cra random crafting table? No, we do not. Uh, no, we do not. Okay. But whatever. Uh, let's just go make ourselves a like a smeltery drain, smeltery control or stuff like that real quick. And uh, there you go. Let's see. Let's uh, let's get that recipe up on the screen. Smell. Actually, I think it's like this, right? So there's that for the smeltery drain. So we'll need like a couple of those. Uh, let's get like three of them. Yeah, there you go. Three drains, and we'll need some of those uh, faucets as well. So three drains means three faucets. And we go. We can get rid of those thorns. And what else would we need? We need like a smeltery controller. There you go. And what can we get rid of? Uh, I guess we can get rid of those regular seeds. And then uh, what else? What else is here for the smeltery? Smeltery. Oh, smeltery is there. The little, little, th yeah, this thing, the sear tank. Okay, so we need glass in the middle. Perfect, we have exactly enough, and I think we have glass in our backpack, right? Uh, it's like a, gla yeah, a glass block. I think that's what'll work. Yep, there we go, sear tank. Okay, so I think we have everything we need. Alright, so, let's go put these up over here. Uh, everything except for, like, the casting table, the casting base, and stuff like that, but we can probably make those here in the future, no problem. Uh, let's see, uh... I guess we could put it on this side. Yep, put it on this side. This will f free up a little bit of space. There you go. And we could put the uh, sear tank. I guess we could put that here. Actually, you know what? Let's put the sear tank here. There you go. Put the sear tank there. Uh, controller. This is the drain. So the controller goes there. Here's the drain. Oh, whoops. I need to place it like so. Oh, what? God. I cannot place anything. Oh, I am not placing anything correct today. Gee, what is going on here? There you go. And what is this? The, yep, here's the controller. So we can put that there. And here's the drain. Get rid of that tall grass. Here's another drain. And I guess we'll need another drain to uh, make this even, but I guess not for right now. So there you go. Uh, do we... Oh, we just need one more sear brick and we have another layer. Uh, where's the... Uh, we need... Uh, yeah, here we go. Here's the drains, or the, the faucets. So we need to hook those up like so. And God, stop connecting to the tall grass. There you go. And we need to make ourselves... A, like casting basin, casting uh, table, stuff like that here in the future. We could probably go back to the village and get our, our stuff back, our uh, little casting patterns that we made. Uh, we could probably go get those here in the future, but for right now, here's our little smeltery that we have. Uh, we need to fill it up with some lava here in the future, which I guess we can go to a nearby meteor and go fill up some buckets. But yeah, we can probably go like right there, go over here actually. This looks like it's a ravine or something. Yeah, we can go over there, fill up some buckets with lava. Actually, we could take, uh, take the smeltery controller like we did last time. I take, oh wait, this is a broken pick. So we need to... Don't we have a another pick? Yeah, we did. There we go. Let's get this. And let's go fill this thing up with some lava. And then we will have ourselves a working smeltery. That's, that could be two layers, but isn't quite two layers just yet. But whatever. Actually, uh, yeah, yeah, I was just about to say we could go throw our rails in there for now. But unfortunately, we have literally nothing to fill it up with. And actually, let's go... Uh, we need to get those buckets. So 
Let's see, where are the buckets at? Uh, where, did I, where did I put the buckets? Uh, here we go, two buckets, and is there like a water? Yep, there's a water bucket. We can go empty that one out real quick in the river. And actually, it's nighttime, and I don't want to risk dying, so I'm going to go to bed real quick. Oh, here we go. All right, actually, you know what? We need to modify this. Uh, need to, oh, no, wait, radar and neutrals. Yep, turn that off. All right, so, ooh, what is that on the minimap right over here? Is that like a blizz or a, a blitz or something? Something with that white face. Look at that on the minimap. Let's zoom in on the yeah, It's like right there. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's like a there's like a kitty hat on that. Oh, what is this sheep? The sheep has like a panda hat. <laughs> oh man, that zombie's dying. I want to get that hat. I want to get that hat. That kitty hat. Oh, give me that hat. All right. Oh yeah, this is a this is like a blitz, right? This has got to be a blitz. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, there you go. Come on. Ah, got him. Come on, there you go. Okay. Okay, Sid Littlefoot and them are not sitting anymore. I just wanted to make sure that it didn't teleport to me because uh, I was getting attacked by that blitz. Alright, so that thing is dead. And this goes into like a ravine. And there's the comet or the the meteor over there. Ooh, fossils. I will be taking these. Don't mind if I do. Grabbing these, slurping these fossils up. Hopefully we actually... Ooh, there's actually stone fossils here too. And more behind these. Ooh, excavator it up. And there's actually an oreberry bush just randomly just sitting there. <laughs> Alright, see if there's... Anything else behind here? Nope, just oreberry bush or uh, iron oreberry bush and oh, more fossils there. I will be grabbing those. Let's see. Is there any more behind it? Uh, I'm not seeing any. Yeah, I'm not seeing any. All right. Uh, well, let's see. Did we actually get any fossils or did it just give us like cobblestone? Uh, I think it might have just given us cobblestone. Uh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Actually, we need to get rid of this water. So, eh. I put that there. <laughs> just random water just flowing down there like it's nothing. Alright, so we need to go up there and go up through the meteor and fill up our stuff with some- Oh wait, it did drop fossils. Uh, we need to pick those up. There we go. And there's another fossil there. Don't mind if I do. And there's like a glitched out water there too. And more fossils there. <gasps> Ooh, I will be grabbing those. Let's see, where is this fossil at? Here, on the minimap. Or not on the minimap, on the wall. <laughs> I don't know why I called it a minimap there. Alright, there we go. Let's get this fossil. Hopefully we actually- Oh! Oh, we didn't get anything from that. Oh, uh, oh wait, here's a fossil ore too. So we have two fossils, and we still have two fossils. Come on. Oh, we still have two fossils. Ah, uh, it didn't give us anything good, and there's that random water that I just placed down there. And I'm not seeing any more fossils. Yeah, I'm not seeing any more. Ah, oh, man. Ah, uh, well, I guess we can get out of here. Fill up our uh, buckets and seared tank with some lava and head back to the lab and get our new smeltery up and running. And uh, other than that extra, you know, one smeltery block that we'll need and basin and all that. Actually, uh, we do need a pretty good amount of stuff to actually get it up and running. But for right now, it is going to work just fine. Let's get this smeltery tank. Uh, I guess we could put this like here. Yeah, there you go. Take all this lava that's just... Oh, no! What did it just... What? Oh man, my inventory's full. Oh, okay, that that explains why my lava just went flying out of my inventory. <laughs> Alright, let's put all that garbage up. God, we lost one bucket already. Jeez. Alright, let's put that up there. Any more lava that's just a seeping around or ready to get picked up? Uh, I'm not seeing any. Oh, what? Okay, there's one. Oh wait, uh, I thought it was. Oh, there's another one over there, actually. I need to go grab that one. Come on, get rid of that fire. Oh! Oh! Oh, put that inside the tank, put that inside the tank, the tank is full, and the sheep is on, the sheep is on fire, ladies and gentlemen, the sheep is on fire. Alright, so there we go, another lava, and I think there's another one over here. Oh, okay. Oh wow, there's actually like two or three of them over there, ooh, that's good. That's good stuff, we can always come back here and fill it up later. Oh, okay, let's get this to your tank, let's get this to your tank. Oh, 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 it almost just fell into lava right there. Oh, okay. Okay, is there anything interesting over there? I'm not seeing anything. Okay. I'm going to be heading back home, and hopefully, hopefully this is going to work fine. All right, we're back to the smelter. Let's go throw that new seared tank inside of here, Hata. And let's throw, uh, oh, that's actually not that bad of a space there. Uh, where's all of our rails at? Did we put it on our knapsack? Uh, yeah, we did. Uh, didn't we get more rails than that? Uh, I thought we did. What happened to all of our rails? We got more than just five, right? Or did we accidentally, like, throw them out somewhere? I don't think we did. Let's grab that back. I... Thought we had way more. Or am I just completely blind and it's like right in front of me? Yeah, I'm not seeing it's not there. And oh god, there it is right there. Another full stack of rails. God, I'm stupid sometimes. Alright, God, we need one we need that final block, like right. Oh, whoa, that looks <laughs> that looks completely weird with rails inside of there. 
That's weird. All right, well, anyways, those rails are almost done. Uh, yeah, they're almost done. And uh, is there any clay around here? Uh, I don't know, it's hard to tell from this distance. We just need a little bit of clay and gravel and sand to make more of that grout. Here's, uh, here's some of that gravel and here's some of that sand. So let's grab that. All we need is those clay, clay balls. And then we'll be good to go. Uh, some more of that garbage gravel there. Hashtag garbage gravel. And I'm not seeing anything else here. Oh, there it is. There's some clay right there. Let's grab some of that. Hopefully we have enough clay balls to actually make the... Yeah, I think we should. Yeah, we should. We should have enough clay balls to actually make the, like, the basin and stuff like that here in the future. Alright, so while all those rails are still smelting... Actually, let's go throw some more rails while we're here. And, uh, let's make that one last final... God, dumb, dumb tall grass. And I like not- oh wait, that's the smeltery controller. God, I'm dumb sometimes. Let's throw the rails inside there. <laughs> and let's go make ourselves some grout. Go throw those inside of the Beefy's furnaces. Oh wait, be what What happened to Beefy? Why does lead break? Huh. Well, at least our Herrera source isn't trying to kill Beefy. Alright, come on Beefy. You know you shouldn't be doing what you're doing. You need to stay in your corner. There you go. Alright. So, uh, oh yeah, we need to make some grout. So, what was it? Clay balls, some gravel, and some sand. There's some grout, and looks like we need, uh, just some more f or gravel. Do we have any gravel? And yeah, we do. There's some gravel, and actually we have some sand here as well, which we're gonna make even more grout out of. There we go. Get that recipe up on screen. There we go. And, ooh. Yeah, looks like, it looks like we have a pretty good amount. Not bad at all. Uh, let's get the coal that we have in our knapsack. There we go. And how much do we need? Uh, three. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so let's let that smelt. Let's go throw some more rails into the smeltery. And then, uh, yeah, we're, we're actually gonna have our brand new smeltery up and running for realsies. No problem. God, that looks- that still looks stupid. <laughs> just a bunch of rails just sitting there doing nothing. I guess we could dig this out, if anything. Make room for our basins and, uh, casting tables here in the future. Uh, there we go. Alright, so, wow. That's- that's fantastic. We have our own smeltery set up. We have this area set up. I kind of want to- kind of want to make like a dedicated carnivore area somewhere, you know? Get them a little bit farther away from all of our herbivores and stuff, you know? Maybe put them- let's see, look, look, look at a minimap. Maybe put them like all the way over here, you know? And then have these three sides as our herbivore area. Maybe even extend them here in the future, and then over here's our carnivore area, no? Just to get them that much farther away, just to make sure that they don't, you know, kill off our herbivores. I think that's what I'm going to be doing here in the future, and... You know, it's, it's good that we're going to be doing it early, because right now, we have only one carnivore, so... If we're moving one carnivore, it's definitely going to be a lot easier than moving like five, six, seven of them here in the future, so... And, uh, of course, we do need like a water area, and I suppose we can put that over here, maybe? Yeah, we can, like, put over here, put all of our water dinosaurs over there, like the, uh, the Orthocanthus and, uh, Coelacanth, if we even have a Coelacanth. Uh, we have an Orthocanthus there. Then we have a, oh yeah, the Tylosaurus. We can put that there as well. But for right now, I think, uh, how much of this is done? Oh, seven. Yep, that is enough to make one more last block. And then we can get started on the basin and stuff like that, so... I'm gonna sit here for a little while, let the grout cook, and I will see you guys here in a second once that's done. Alright, so I upgraded our smeltery here, so now it's the two-layer smeltery, 5x5 five five on the inside with two casting basins, so there we go. How much uh, iron do we have? We have enough to actually get three. Uh, no wait, no, that's, uh, 25? Yeah, well, okay, we have enough to get two iron blocks. Perfect, because we have only two basins right now. I think we have only two, uh, two- wait, what happened to my horse over there? What? Why- why do these leads keep breaking? Maybe I'm getting too far away and, uh, I don't know, wh where is this lead? Come on, horsey. Where do you- Oh my god, a creperoo. Oh, get out! Oh! Oh, where's this lead at? I need to pick it up. Oh, where'd it go? It did not go inside the mine. Okay. Oh, okay, get away from him. Get away from him, crepper. Oh, there we go. Got him. Got him. All right. Come on. Where is that lead? Surely we have, uh, I guess we can always just make them because they're pretty cheap, right? Just string and, and, uh, slime balls, but I don't know where to go. It's not my, yeah, it's not my inventory. Hmm. Now that's interesting. Maybe it despawned, I guess. Whatever. Anyways, uh, you know what? We haven't fed our dinosaurs like ever. And do we have any, uh, any like, we, yeah, we have a little bit of wheat. Do we have any seeds we can give them? Uh, no seeds, and I don't think they can eat anything, like, saplings. <laughs> I don't- I don't think they can eat saplings. Let's give them a little bit of wheat. And, uh, you know, just might as well just feed them, you know? There you go. And, uh, you wanna eat that, or, uh, what- uh, what about you, Stegus? Come on. Uh, 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 come on, who's- Oh, someone just ate that wheat. Oh, there we go. Now I'm completely out of wheat. Oh, look at the little hips of the -dub -dub don God! God, Littlefoot is gigantic! He's huge! Man, he needs, he needs more than just one thing of wheat, I'll tell you that much. What about carrots? I guess I'll eat carrots too, right? 
Do they like carrots? Oh, let's see. Come on, get out of the way. Do they like carrots? Oh, 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 they like potatoes. They're falling. I'm holding a baked potato. They want this baked potato. Who wants that baked potato? Who's going to eat that baked potato? I think, I think <laughs> Littlefoot ate the baked potato. Come on, carrots. Carrots for days. Carrots for days. You guys going to eat those? You guys going to, oh, 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 the hips of the Don just ate those carrots. Come on, who's going to eat those carrots? Nothing, nothing but the hips of the Don. Really? No one, no one else wants to eat the carrots. Really? Really? Free carrots, and you don't, you guys don't want these free carrots. Really? Really, except for the hips of the Don. He knows, he knows these carrots are free. He knows that they're not, they're not so easy to come by. Come on. And no one else wants to eat the carrots. Come on. Oh, wait, I guess they want to eat them now that the, now that the food's out of my hand. There, yeah, there he goes. Lego's eating the carrots. What about you, Littlefoot? Can Littlefoot even eat these? He's not even reaching now. I guess they don't have an eating animation. It just kind of disappears from the ground. Yeah, there you go. I guess they're not going to eat anymore. I don't know. Well, you guys can eat that if you want. Uh, I guess we could feed our... Let's see. Let's get some raw pork chop. Hopefully this guy can... I don't know. if I don't know if he eats it raw. Let's get some steak and some raw pork chop. Let's actually find out if it's raw or if it needs to be cooked. So here we go. Okay, uh, he follows us with when we have raw pork chops. And same thing with cooked, so let's throw a raw pork chop on the ground. Okay, so he eats, he eats, eats it no matter what. There we go, you gonna eat that? Yeah, he's gonna eat it. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> Alright, I wonder if- I, I think that should help it with its growth, right? I don't know. Uh, maybe with growth and, like, health uh, regeneration and stuff like that. Anyways, our horse- okay, our horse is still outside. Uh, we need to make a- do we have- Ah, uh, let's see, let's get the- let, let's get the lead recipe up on the screen. Yeah, we, we should have enough string. It's only, like, what, three string it said right there? Uh, if not, then we do have a lot of cobwebs in our- yeah, we have a lot of cobwebs. Might as well break those, but do we even have a sword to break those with? I don't think we do. I guess we can make one real quick, no problem. Iron sword, no problem. Actually, you know, let's get it- let's make it out of osmium. We have a lot of osmium. Might as well make ourselves an osmium sword. There we go. And there's the osmium sword. Alright, so time to strike. We really, we really just got that image- that achievement now, after all these episodes. Alright. Well, let's just, uh, let's get a little bit of string here, make ourselves another set of leads, and let's go tie up our brand new unnamed horse. Uh, there we go, and we use slime balls too. Yep, there we go, gelatinous slime. And let's get that recipe up on screen again. There we go. And we just need one craft, I don't think we really need any more right now, so put up those cobwebs, clay balls, gunpowder, salt, gelatinous slime, and let's get the horse, tie him up. There we go, alright. Oh man, we have been getting a lot of stuff done lately. Let's put up that coal, actually. A little bit of raw pork chops. Sand and dirt. Disgusting, nasty stuff. And a little bit of sticks, too. Yep, there we go. And some carrots. Yeah, we can get rid of those, too. And the lava, osmium sword. We can probably put, I guess we can put those up there. Alright, so wow, yeah, we did get a lot of good stuff done lately. Now, we do need to go mine and get some of that redstone, as I said earlier. Uh, so we can actually make that digital miner, you know, make make mining that much easier. Let's grab that uh, iron that's sitting there. Is there any more? Yep, seven ingots. We don't have quite enough. Uh, actually, we do have some iron ore in our inventory, right? Uh, it's in our knapsack. Yep, it is. Ooh, and some fossils. Oh, we actually... Where did we get that redstone from? Ooh, maybe we don't have to go mining after all. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, wait, what is that? Oh, a zombie. Oh, get out of here, zombie. Let's put that uh, iron ore. Let's put that up in there. All right. So I should give us a no. Oh, whoa, what is this monster hunt? <laughs> we just now got that. God, we're so. F oh, is there's another. There's another blitz over there. Come on, come on, fight me, IRL. Fight me, IRL skeleton. Uh, ah, I see you with your World War II helmet on there, and there's that blitz right there trying to attack me, trying to murder me, uh, trying to murder. Actually, we have a bow. Uh, uh, come on, MLG no scope. Uh, come on, one more shot. Uh, oh, missed. <laughs> Completely missed. Oh, got him. Oh, nice. Let's grab our excess arrows. Oh, speaking of arrows, this skeleton is still trying to kill us. Or either that or a different skeleton, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, come on, skeleton. There we go, got him. See if that blizz blitz dropped anything. There's a difference between a blitz and a blizz, I know that. So, yeah, I, I guess maybe not, or it went downstream. It shouldn't have. Uh, I guess if it did, it went down there. Did we pick up- I don't think we picked up anything. Uh, well, if anything, we can go throw our fossils inside the- the DNA extractor or whatever it's called real quick. And hopefully we actually get something interesting out of them. Come on. Come on. Hopefully we get something good. Oh yeah, we need to set up like a hopper there. I guess we can make that up real quick. Uh, what was it? Iron and a chest. Do we have enough wood? Uh, where's our wood at? Oh, yep, perfect. We have exactly- we have- well, well more than enough wood. There we go. And we need to make the chest. There we go. And the hopper. 
Like so. Alright. So, oh, what? Oh, there's the blocks of iron. I, I was wondering why I had two random blocks of iron in my inventory. What is that, a sword? Oh, wait, no, it's an arsenal with Ethereum DNA. Ooh, 50%. I don't think we have one of those. And judging by its, its like, lack of having a face on there, I guess that's a water dinosaur too, but I don't know. Well, anyways, let's set up the, the little... Ah, should we have it, like, hooked up to a chest, though? I guess we could. Eh, it's cheap. We can make another chest for it real quick. Uh, two more pieces of acacia. I don't mind if I do. There we go. And let's put a chest down there so it feeds into a chest. And we're actually getting an acacia back, so it's not like we're losing anything. Up oh, there we go. And put that hopper in like so. Alright, so now when we have a lot of fossils inside there, they'll go inside the hopper and go inside the chest. And without uh without filling up the entire hopper there and uh, you know getting getting in the way of the DNA extractor, getting more DNA and stuff. So that's definitely going to come in helpful here in the future. So we have that arsenal uh no, that's Tylosaurus. Yeah, uh yeah, we don't have any more of those arsenotherium. DNA, unfortunately. Hmm. Well, anyways, I guess real quick before we end the episode, we can get our dino pad out, or dinopedia, whatever this is called, and see what our dinosaurs are up to now. Alright, so what are you up to now, Herrerasaurus? Six days old, female still. Health is 25, attack is 7.7. Ooh, that's pretty good. And, uh, there's some interesting details there. If you guys want to read those, you can pause the video there and read that. Uh, let's go check up on our Stegosaurus. I want to go see what Lego's up to right now, because we did give him our... Yeah, him, <laughs> a, a gross serum a few episodes ago, so let's see, 33 health, 7.27 attack, and 7 days, yeah. So he went up like, what, one day or something? I'm pretty sure we went to sleep like two days. Maybe went up two days, I don't remember. <laughs> so there we go, roof lizard. Stegosaurus means roof lizard, What <laughs> in reference to its bony plates. Well, I guess that makes sense. Alright, so there you go. And what is, oh, what is a little, oh, 11 days for little foot. Yeah, he went up two days. 56 health, 8.42 attack, and 2.22 speed. Very slow compared to Stegosaurus and the Herrerasaurus. Yeah, 0.42 for you, and the Hypsilophodon is 0.4. Yeah, look at that. And it's four days old, too. Nice. Now, what's the info? Oh, okay, never mind. I guess the only info about the Hypsilophodon is... Hips of a love don. <laughs> I guess that's all you can read about it. Anyways, wow, we got a lot of stuff, uh, good stuff done lately, and I guess we don't have to go mine and get some redstone. Anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. But anyways, next up, what we have planned is to make that digital miner, get a bunch of free fossils real, real quick from those. Maybe even make some more of those uh, windmill things over there because those things take up a lot of energy. And so we're probably going to need to maybe like two or three or four of those windmill things over there to produce enough energy for the digital miner. So look forward to that in the upcoming episodes. And then once we get that digital miner up and running, we're going to get a whole ton of DNA and our dinosaur population is going to go booming, booming up in the sky, just like, just like Littlefoot's gigantic, he's huge, just like, look at him, he is in the sky now, I'm still, I'm still shorter than him, even though I'm standing on top of all of this, and I have a T-Rex hat on, gee, alright, anyways, thank you guys all for watching, and I will see you guys here next time with some more Jurassic World, oh bye there.